Today is Wednesday, October the 18th, 2017, and I'm currently sitting outside the Jordan Hall greenhouse, which was built on the former site of a limestone quarry in 1955. I was originally planning on recording this from inside the building and giving kind of like a walking tour thing, but unfortunately the greenhouse is closed at the moment, so that is not going to happen today. Jordan Hall has always been a really nice, quiet building when I've come here, and the greenhouse is totally free and open to the public, so that is great. Uh, in the late fall and the winter, my mom and dad sell at the winter, far winter farmer's market, which is held at the Harmony School really close by. I walk here often. I've never really been here when it's hot out, because usually the only time I come is when the winter farmer's market is happening. I've also not really been here when there are a lot of people around today that is different. There are lots of people walking by because it is a school day and I am on campus. When I've been here before and there are people in the greenhouse, I honestly try to avoid them as well as I can because I prefer uh, being here alone. One time uh, it was raining really hard out and it was really cold and I was at Farmer's Market and I had this date planned. We were going to go out to a coffee shop or something. But he canceled really last minute because he did not want to go out in the rain, so I came here instead. And it was a really good day to be here. I guess no one else wanted to go out in the rain either <laughs> because it was very empty, which was good for me. Also, there was like a soft roar from the rain hitting the glass, and it was really pretty. Yeah, this greenhouse is definitely a really good place to be alone. It smells and feels very relaxing. There's like dripping sounds and you're surrounded by plants and the windows are all fogged up. Some of my favorite things here are like these Venus flytraps growing out of this huge pile of moss. There were a lot more, but now most of them have been overgrown by the moss. I don't know if they're doing okay under there. There's still a couple poking their heads out. I also really enjoy this little pond with some sort of plant growing on the surface. It, um, it just looks like a bunch of tiny little green leaves floating on the water. And when you dip your finger in the water, the leaves retreat, and it makes this little hole. Sensitive plants are pretty cool, too. When you tap on them, their leaves fold up inward. The desert room is very nice. I find myself taking fallen succulents, succulent leaves off of the floor to grow at home. You can sometimes grow a whole new succulent plant from one little fallen leaf. And they might just rot if they get left there, so maybe I'm doing them a favor, you know? <laughs> Oh, another thing I like about Jordan Hall Greenhouse, or not the greenhouse, but Jordan Hall, is the bathroom. It's really nice. There's like a soft sunlight coming in through the windows. And it has a very chill vibe. I don't know if that's a strange thing to mention about this place, but I think it's important. It adds to the general goodness of the building. There's also a parking lot really close to here. And the top levels are always empty, so it's nice to hang out up there. It's very relaxing. I think this area in general is very relaxing. I've only ever personally been in the greenhouse, the hall leading to the greenhouse, and the bathroom in Jordan Hall. So I can't really tell you much about the rest of the building, but the greenhouse itself is very important to me. Plants are very important aspects of our everyday lives, and the IU Jordan greenhouse is like a showcase for ones you've likely never seen before. It was an important staple in my personal map of Bloomington, and I'm sure plenty of people share my feelings.